My name is Eddie Vasquez, known in stage name as Eddie V. Started off as a kid loving freestyle. Uh, my brother and I, my brother Moises, for you who don't know, he is my brother, my real brother, blood brother. We shared the stage last night, but we have a long background of, of musicians. My mom was a Mexican singer, but she used to sing ranchera. She used to open up for famous ranchero artists like Alessandro Monteclado, Vicente Fernandez, Alberto Vasquez, etc., etc. Our music background comes from, from her. came about that, that song, Doce Rosas. Uh, in English it's called 12 Roses, or a dozen roses. So I, uh, I met this, this woman that's in my life now, someone very dearly and very special to me. We've been together for about four and a half years, roughly. We have had an up, ups and downs, like any relationship. Uh, the thing is that she likes to listen to a lot of, you know, Hispanic music. Uh, her descent is actually Honduras, and of course I'm Mexican, Mexican Spaniard, uh, but that has nothing to do with our
for her. She captivated my heart. I would send her a dozen roses every week to her, to her work. Sometimes her roses would last two weeks, but the other roses came in. Her office would be full of roses. Uh, a lot of the women that she worked for, and not to brag or anything, were pretty envious of her because they wish they had a man that would do that for them. Even their husband would do that for them, and they didn't have it. But as I was going through some of her music, I, I saw this song called Los Arosas that was actually sung by uh, an artist called Lorenzo Antonio. And I was listening to it, and I liked the lyrics, and I liked, I liked the background, the music. And I kept rewinding it, and rewinding it, and I never heard it. And this song was done in 1984. So, uh, our senior, Artie, uh, he's our, one of our producers up in the Bronx, New York, called him up and said, listen, let me send you this song and see if we could convert it into new style and make it my own, do a cover. Send it to him, within, within two hours, he called me and goes, man, let's do it, what do you want to get over here? And that's how that song started, and it was all particularly because of my, my girlfriend, my, my old lady, like you say. All the roses are that, so it just reminded me of doing that. So I, I, I didn't even tell her I was, I was make, remaking a song for her. When she heard it, when Artie said it to me, she was just in tears. So I, that song, that's, it comes from the heart. Yeah. It's not that it's not my song, I remade it, but it, it kind of, it kind of shows what the love I have for her. So that, that's what that song is. with my counterpart, Johnny O, who's not here with me. But I figured, why not bring Eddie back on stage with me? Thank you. So we can kill this dream boy, dream girl. What's up? <laughs> Thank you so much. You ready? Let's do this. You know everybody loves you here, right? I hope so. I know they do. I hope so. I know they do. <laughs> You got this?
family and all the fans that support freestyle that were there to support us on Friday you know all the performers Cynthia the legendary V Diva Dario my brother Moises Wicked One and myself Eddie V uh, hopefully we have more concerts like this that are gonna happen we are trying very hard to promote this is the third concert that Wicked One Records has thrown uh, the second one that I've been a part of so just hope for the best in the future, and uh, I want to thank all of you, all the fans, for showing up, for doing support. Doesn't matter if it's through media or live or, you know, in the future. So thank you very much. This is Eddie V, partying out. See you next time. <laughs>